34 cars entered to race in the Indianapolis 500. Only 33 can make the starting grid, which left an odd man or woman out. Unfortunately, there wasn't much late drama because Michelle Jordan Jr. just couldn't get up to speed. So hard, there's no point of going out when we know we're not going to make it, you know? I mean, the car is impossible to drive and you know, we, we don't want to put it in the wall. If, if we're in the wall, we're in the, in the race either, you know? Jordan Jr. can only get the number 17 Office Depot machine up to 219.843 miles per hour during practice, which was nearly four miles per hour behind the 33rd car. The Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Racing Team tried switching engines, even changed to James Jakes and Graham Ray Hall setup. Nothing seemed to work. Jordan climbed out of the car 15 minutes before qualifying ended, emotionally drained. The vibe much different around Catherine Legg. She was the last one to make it into the big show. I do feel terrible for Michelle because it's never good when you go out without it being fair. You know, he's had issues, so it would have been nice if it had been a fair fight and he'd been up to speed and then Buddy would have been on the bump and then we would have all been like shuffling again. But it is what it is and I'm just very grateful for this opportunity. A sigh of relief for Legg who was a late addition for Schmidt-Peterson Motorsports. She took laps in the number 81 for the first time on bump day. Lost a lot of sleep this week, thinking it was going to be a lot of anxiety and how many times we'd have to go. And man, she was on it this morning, uh, you know, flat out four time by. And uh, she's a true professional. No one has won the race from the 33rd position. Legs team owner Sam Schmidt told me it's the Indianapolis 500, though. Anything can happen. At IMS, Brittany Deal, Fox 59 Sports.